So you're thinking about moving to San Antonio, Texas. In this video, we'll take a look at the cost of living in San Antonio, Texas, and we'll give you a brief overview and show you that San Antonio is significantly more affordable than many other cities around the United States. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in San Antonio, Texas, then subscribe below Tap the bell for notifications so that you can be the first to know about the current market in San Antonio. So let's have a look at the cost of living in San Antonio, Texas, and we're getting after it right now. Are you curious about the cost of living in San Antonio, Texas? You'll be pleased to know that San Antonio is significantly more affordable than many other cities across the United States. In fact, the average cost of living in San Antonio is nearly 10% lower than the national average. Let's dive into the details. Our sales tax and groceries. When it comes to sales tax, Texas offers lower rates compared to California. According to the Sales Tax Handbook, combined state and local sales taxes in California range from 7.25% to 10.75%, while in Texas the range is 6.25 to 8.25, and then neither state taxes groceries. While property tax is higher in San Antonio due to the absence of a state income tax, this method of funding schools, hospitals, fire services, and other essential facilities ensures financial advantages for residents. Additionally, home prices in San Antonio remain significantly lower, with the median price home at just $289,000. Our income tax advantages, one of the key benefits to living in San Antonio is the absence of state income tax. This advantage makes it an attractive location for individuals seeking financial benefits and a lower cost of living. For example, in California and New York, you can expect to pay 9.5% in state income tax on your income. In Illinois, you'll pay an additional 4.95%. One of the leading reasons people move to Texas is the lack of state income tax, and when they arrive, they also find out that Texas is in the black financially because we have a requirement to balance the budget yearly. Our legislature must pass a balanced budget and is prohibited from carrying a deficit over into the following year. The Texas Constitution further limits spending growth with a budget rule based on personal income growth. In fact, Texas budget surplus is estimated to be $32 billion, yes, billion, in 2023. Gasoline prices in San Antonio average around $2.95 per gallon, which is cheaper than the national average of $3.57. As for groceries, San Antonio offers lower prices compared to the national average. For instance, a pound of 96% lean hamburger costs $6.73, HEB Prime Sirloin Steak is approximately $11 a pound. Oscar Mayer Thick Cut Bacon is priced at $6.22 a pound. And eggs range from $2.95 to $6.98 a dozen. A gallon of milk costs $3.66, so overall you can expect groceries to be approximately 10% less expensive in Texas compared to the other states. Dining out, shopping, movies, and entertainment. Eating at restaurants in San Antonio is relatively cheaper with an average meal costing around 15 bucks compared to the national average of 20 bucks. Shopping in the city is also affordable with prices approximately 14% lower than the national average. When it comes to movies and entertainment, San Antonio offers enjoyable experiences at an average price of $14 and movies for movies and $45 for concerts. Discover the affordability and financial advantages of living in San Antonio, Texas. So whether you're moving to San Antonio in nine days or 90 days, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and leave us a comment. Send us a text, send us an email, or call us on the phone with your questions about how we can serve you. 
and we look forward to welcoming you to San Antonio soon.